Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. If that is true, why haven't they, why haven't they charged the chief register? Why, why haven't they charged with it? But with, you and, know, and then it brings me to what Home Affairs Minister said yesterday. Yes. I don't think this is exactly what he said. No. What he said was a little different. He said that no, actually, the paper she released was the wrong one. It was not the genuine one. The list of members that men they released was not the one that they, I would say, they recognized it was the wrong one. Uh, look. And now the spokesperson is saying, <coughs> He hasn't said whether it was right or was wrong, he's just saying she was being mischievous in releasing it to the PF. The, the, the person I said earlier, the person charged with that responsibility in that office, the chief registrar, mm -hmm. not the minister. Okay? The minister, for God's sake, is a policy maker. He's not an administrator. So the person to tell us whether or not that document was legal is a chief registrar. And if somebody contends that it is not legal, they must go to court, not to the minister. The minister is not a court. He can only express an opinion. But the fact that they have not charged the chief registrar with any offense, they have simply quietly in fact, if that letter had not been released, you know, on Facebook, we wouldn't even have known that she she's not there. The fact that they still still tried to move her out, and now we are being told, quoting the minister during yesterday's news bulletin, you know, uh, an office of government can be transferred to go and perform other functions. Mm -hmm. So if she is uh, guilty of uh, mischief. Why, why are you transferring her to go and execute other functions? Same government, same office. Mr. Meto also said okay. that Ms. Mende was lucky that she was only redeployed and not fired because she misconducted herself. She is not lucky. It's because, <coughs> it's because what she did was right. So don't even try you know, to, to uh, sound as if you have done her a favor. No. You haven't done her a favor. You know in your heart of hearts, Cornelius and the minister and your president, that she did nothing wrong. I don't think that a senior lawyer, you know, with the status of, you know, in the name of Makebi Zulu, you know, can go and get a document, you know, which is, which is illegal. I don't think that, you know, he has a name to protect. Thank you. Okay, so let's be fair to other people. Let's be let's learn to respect one another. Okay, and then also, so then how does this speak to the whole thing of the UPND has been involved in trying to um, break the patriotic front party? to annihilate it. There have been these assertions and allegations and everybody has come out and said, no, we're not involved, just clean up your own house and so on. But now we see this, this one speaking, this one speaking about a matter which maybe should not involve them, but now they're all involved. Yes, yes. Why, 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 why is everybody in the UPND speaking on this PF saga, for want of a better term, if they are not interested? Why do they leave it, you know, to, to be able to sort out? And there's a lot of manpower to protect uh, Miles Samper. And there's a lot of manpower to protect uh, Miles Samper. Whoever, you know, would waste their bullet, you know, in Miles Samper in this country. I have no idea myself. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Even that to slap him. There's you no know? need. There's no need. Well, there's no need. Well, 
I mean, I said it was a Patrick, I said during Vasata's era, you know, Miles' job was to test the microphone so that those of us who know politics can talk. Hello, hello, test one, two, one, two. <laughs> After that, step you, then he, you know, we start speaking ourselves. Are you speaking in fact? Fact, fact. I've never, I've never been in, you know, or, or, or mischievous myself. I speak fact. There are two people, three, in fact, responsible. <laughs> uh, Sa William Sander, mm -hmm. uh, Kaiser Zulu, mm -hmm. Miles Sander. They went ahead of us to come and set up the PA system. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what you're talking about. If you want to talk about the number, you can 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 talk about the number, one, two, one, two. Okay, now you go. You can talk about the number. Then we speak, then we roll the cables. How in God's name would Miles Samba today be a presidential candidate? from testing a PA system. What is wrong with this country? Are we short of people? Sure. So that is what we know ourselves that come from PA. That's why you saw, even the composition he was given, you know, the deputy minister, you know, in the Ministry of Finance. Okay. Because he was the one maintaining Vasata's accounts, the finance bank. He was the one testing, you know, the PA system. So surely, we got the we got the Mukudia, we see, we 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 find a we we pass up all all in Yuku. We see we got the yachts. We pass up all the Kapendo. Let me find a big one to Bakuru Bago. Then I put you on Kuku. That is that is what my life was. For anybody, Patricia, to dream in their wildest dreams that Miles can lead a political party, please, to a bomba, to a papata. Why do you want to kill this country? I have five minutes before um, I technically come to the end of the program, but I was thinking maybe I could extend it a little bit so that I allow some callers after the break. But in these five minutes, with all that we have said, it seems now this entire country is gripped in the saga, <coughs> machinations around the PF, the party, the members of parliament, to the point of we are forgetting other more important things. Yes. 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 If we look, um, our President, if we look at um, our economy today, what would be your assessment on how it's doing? I see the, uh, the Kwacha touching um, uh, 23, and I am thinking to myself, are things okay on the ground for ordinary people, more ordinary than myself? I am struggling, but I'm thinking of more ordinary people than myself what is happening and what can we do about it? You know, the problem is this, that it is suddenly that what is keeping HH and his team awake at night is PF and not the livelihood or welfare of the people. I thought that the president would stay awake at night, Patricia, to figure out the welfare of the people. Not he. And why do you think he doesn't do that? Because because of the events. All, all this. You remember we we just come from this other you know saga of uh, the TPP. We you know yeah. we came from the saga of Miringolungu. I don't, I don't know if any GOCC went to see that lady though. Exactly. I don't. I don't think any GOCC went. You know to, to see. You know. Okay. Sanga baka bireko. Oh, you know see you. Sanga baka bireko. Okay. They need to speak to Nelly Muti so that he, he can speak to one, she can speak to one of the donors that were passing on Dalama. That, that is the problem. Everybody is up, you know, for payment in this country. Okay? Now, if you look at the last two years, you know, of, of UPND, it has just been one saga after another. Okay? TPP, Kabushi, you know, and the, and the what is that? Uh, uh, Malangi is the constituency, you know. Minimbolungu, Kwacha, Minimbolungu, you know. It's just one saga, you know, after another. The only time when HH seems to be talking about the economy was when he was pursuing this restructuring uh, uh, program, which, in his understanding of economics, would have actually, you know, was going to bring mana, you know, or, or 
on Zambian soil. After that, he has forgotten about it. <laughs> he's, he's worried about whether or not he, he see or is coming back to politics. That, that is what he's preoccupied. Whatever he goes to address, he will know. Even if he, even when he, the meeting is about agriculture, he's talking about Alewelela for PESA, PESA. But it's an agricultural meeting that he has going to officiate that. You know? That is what he's become so paranoid in this. It has become an existential issue, you know, to him. That is where the problem is. Now, as he is doing that, he has a runaway economy. The economy is holding a general conference. <laughs> okay? He has a runaway economy. Mm -hmm. 24 euro to a dollar. You and I know, Patricia, that this economy is sustained by small scale business people. Ladies that have been going to China to go and buy tiles to come and resale, you know, or the, the, the young men that have been going, you know, that have been ordering motor vehicles from Japan to come and, buy and spares. you know, and buy spares, you know. They are the ones that have been sustaining this economy. All these businesses have collapsed because of the rate of the quarter to a dollar. He doesn't seem to worry. He's worried about the the authenticity of the document from the Registrar of Societies. So, even these issues of sedition they are talking about, you know, against the man of Mamba, Nakachinda, you know, and whatever, you know. The, the sedition is actually being cultivated by government. The people are angry that they, they are going to bed hungry, that they can't look after their families. What, what, what? All right, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you. Peace. I gotta go.